Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out in Epcot. Tropical Storm Nicole is making its way towards Florida and Disney decided to close the parks early. I think Epcot closes at 7 o'clock tonight. I was planning on coming out to see if Guardians of the Galaxy switched over to their holiday overlay and uh, we're going to try to get a boarding group. I'm going to ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful Epcot kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. As you can see, it's starting to get very windy and rainy out. A lot of people are deciding to leave, and I think it's going to lower the wait times a lot. I mean, right here is a very windy spot anyways, but uh, maybe we'll get lucky and get a boarding group for Guardians of the Galaxy. Last night, I went to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, and I got rained out. I broke my camera, I broke my glasses and my umbrella, and I wasn't able to make a video, and I was so sad about it. But I plan on going back in a couple of days for the next party, so I'll have a video for that when it comes out. Today, we're just going to try to take advantage of the parks as we uh, kind of navigate through the storm. All right, 12.59. Here we go. Any second, I'm just going to keep hitting refresh. Well, this is a lot. Oh, there it is. Boom. Refresh. Boom. Did we do it? We did it. Group 124. We did it. 255 minute wait though. Holy moly. <laughs> 255 minute wait. Holy moly. I would have thought like, you know, there would be less people here because if you look around, there's like nobody around. Either they're inside hiding from the rain, but it's going to be raining all day. And yeah. So I don't know, hopefully uh, we'll make it in time. The park does close at seven. I set my umbrella down for a second and it went flying away. Oh, I feel like Benny in June right now. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I feel like I gotta turn it around to fix it. Woo, there we go. <laughs> Another thing I noticed, basically all the restaurants have walk-up availability right now. I looked in the app and I chose right now and everything has a walk-up list. So it'd be cool if we can go to Space 220, see if we can walk up there. That's not on the walk-up list, but they do have a walk-up and they have a new menu. I think we're going to head over there and see if uh, we can just walk up to Space 220. You know, I just realized if I was growing up and I loved space and I wanted to be an astronaut, coming to Epcot would be such a dream come true right now. I mean, if you just think about it, you can dine in space at Space 220, you can train to go to space at Mission Space, and then eventually you can fly through space at Guardians of the Galaxy, all right in this little corner here. Like that's, that's so, that's unbelievable. Like growing up, like if I was a kid and I had this, it would be a dream to come here. Wow, holy moly, we just walked up to Space 220 and we're going up, we're going for lunch. Like that's crazy, just walk up reservation. I, I don't think I've ever had that happen. Like I've done the lounge, but like we're going, like we gotta walk up reservation. Now we're gonna head on in and get to our table and I can't wait to show you guys this grand reveal. Like, we're dining in space, look at that. So fancy. I literally just love coming up here. Everything from the silverware that everyone always thinks is plastic because it looks like this, but it is some fancy space silverware to the cups, to the view, the table. It's all amazing, it's an experience. And look at our table, we got a perfect view. That is so awesome, I can't wait to see the new food. The drinks at Space 220 are always cool because they have like special effects or they incorporate a lot of like pop rocks and space candy and stuff like that. They're always fun and some of them actually do a little show. One of the newest drinks is called the Imagination and it comes with Bacardi rum, Malibu rum, blood orange pineapple, passion fruit, and then a pop rock rim. So yes, that is pop rocks on the rim there. And I'm not too sure what this thing does. Looks like it's kind of just sitting in there. 
maybe that's some um, change in color. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it changes color. Let's see. Hold on. I'm gonna squirt it in. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it, but I'm going for it. Oh, that was kind of cool. Imagination. <laughs> it's actually a perfect fitting name for Epcot. All right, here we go. We're going for it. A little pop rock rim. I gotta lick the pop rocks first. Wow, that is so delicious. Holy moly. And then I love the pop rocks afterwards. I like this drink a lot. It makes me happy. <laughs> Here is a look at some of the additions they added. Uh, they brought on a roasted beet salad for the liftoff appetizers, along with a new tuna uh, dish. But I kind of want to stick to just the starry calamari, because I really love the calamari here. And then for the entrees, they added and changed the chicken recipe, and they also added stuffed jumbo shells. Stuffed jumbo shells actually sound pretty good. I think I might actually end up getting that. And like I said, it is all, all one price, $55, and you get one and one, so you just pick and choose. So I think we're doing calamari and jumbo shells. They also got a lot of new desserts, and the desserts sound amazing. I'm actually very excited for those. I looked over the menu real quick. They have a peanut caramel comment, and then a pistachio and citrus. And you guys know I love pistachio, and I love peanut butter, so we're definitely gonna try some desserts as well. And the calamari has arrived. I really love this calamari. It is like per cooked perfectly always. And you get a little sauce there and you get to eat calamari while in space. Ooh, we missed the astronauts. They were just floating away there. I do not like soggy calamari. And here it's always crispy, always perfect. Gonna use a little bit of that sauce. Amazing. I also like how they add those fried jalapenos in there so it gives it a little bit of a spice and uh, yeah it's amazing but I do wonder do you think they customly made this plate you know what I mean do you think they made a plate and said all right we're gonna need a little circle over here so we can put half of a lemon in or do you think they were like hey what should we put in this little circle and someone was like how about half of a lemon like I wonder <laughs> some of the things I think about this is what I stay up all night Googling. I'm gonna find out the answer. I need to know. And the jumbo shells have arrived. And I have to say, it kind of looks like something from space. Like this <laughs> literally looks like a creature from space. I am ki I'm excited to try it. It's uh, definitely something different. Normally, I think I probably would have stuck to the steak frites or the chicken, but you know, wanted to try something different. And uh, maybe I'll love it. It's not the typical stuffed jumbo shells that I'm used to seeing. And I do want to mention that it is a vegan dish too. So that's really cool that a lot of people can enjoy it. And uh, I think we're gonna dive in. I don't know, I'm a little nervous. I mean, it looks cool. The presentation is pretty amazing, but just the way they have it set up, it kind of looks scary. Like, like a fish space starfish. Like, that's what it reminds me of. Like, I feel like when I stick my fork and knife in there, it's gonna like grab it, you know? <laughs> but we're going for it. Let's, uh, let's see what's stuffed inside those shells. I think we'll start with this little guy right here. Oh, I lost my chickpea. <laughs> Slippery little sucker. All right, here we go. We got some noodle. We're gonna try some of the uh, pesto on there and uh, we're gonna give it a go. <laughs> it's definitely a little interesting. I mean, it's not horrible. It's not something I think I would enjoy eating, but I think if you were vegan, this would be a great dish. Let me get another bite here. You gotta give it, you gotta give it the two bite, you know? You can't judge something off one bite. So here we go. Second bite. Huh. The spice is a little bit interesting. The Eastern spice definitely overpowers a lot in there. 
but I mean overall it's not that bad it's a good good uh, vegan dish right there especially with the chickpea stuffed shells that's kind of what I like a lot more I was more thinking when I thought about it like stuffed jumbo shells like an Italian dish you know what I mean I do like the pesto um, but I, I think next time I probably would get the steak fritz like if I came for the lunch menu that's like my go-to you know Good news is we still have dessert to look forward to and these desserts look absolutely amazing and I've heard such great things about it. So uh, we got that coming right up and I'm excited. And here it is, the peanut caramel comet. And this looks like one of the best desserts I think I've ever seen. We got popcorn on there, we've got peanut butter, we've got white chocolate cream, oh my lord. I cannot wait to dive into this. Like, this looks so good. A nice little vanilla tart. Candied peanuts, too. Look at, oh, I see the candied peanuts. Oh, wow. This is going to be much too good. Let's get a little bit of everything in one bite. We're going to start off by tripping off the side here, going down the center. I'm going to grab some popcorn, some caramel, and candied peanuts, and just plop it right on the fork like that. I feel like this ratio of tart is too much. Got to have the proper ratio. There we go. A little bit better. Excellent. And here we go. Sky rockets in flight. Wow. That is so good. Holy moly. When you take a bite and you get like flavor and then as you're like kind of like taking it all in you get hit with another flavor and then another one that's what's happening with this honestly wow i i and i don't even know what i'm liking because like <laughs> yeah, like there's so much happening i'm liking everything but like i don't know what is like standing out most to me this is definitely one of the best desserts I've had in Epcot. This is definitely one of the best desserts I've had in Epcot. The peanut butter isn't too heavy. The caramel isn't too heavy. It's like the perfect blend. And then you add in the peanuts and the popcorn. It's just really so good. That was so good. Now it's time to make our way back down to Earth and hopefully uh, it's not storming down there. It wasn't storming up in space, but I don't know what it's going to be like once we get back down on Earth. You are cleared for departure. Initiating descent in three, two, one. As soon as I stepped out of Space 220, I got a notification that our boarding group was called for Guardians of the Galaxy. So now we're gonna go from eating in space to basically flying through space, and I'm so excited. Wow, it, I don't feel like it was that long of a wait. We got here at one o'clock, exactly. Like, as soon as I walked in, I went and joined the boarding group, and now, I, oh, I have to look, I think it's like four o'clock, so I guess it's been three hours. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. And yep, it was three hours later exact. It's four o'clock now, so not too long of a wait. I mean, uh, I thought it was gonna be longer, but uh, it's time. Here we go. This side, look at everyone with their ponchos. I'm hanging on from my umbrella for dear life. Anytime I ride Guardians of the Galaxy, I always wanna get uh, Everybody Wants to Rule the World because it's such a fun song. I don't think they're doing the Christmas overlay yet, so we're not gonna get any Christmas songs today. I feel like somebody would've definitely posted about it by now, but uh, it's time to head in, like I said. It, normally, I always brag about how cold it is when you walk in the door today. I'm not looking forward to this. I'm not looking forward to how cold it is actually in there. Here we go, Wonders of Xandar. Ooh. Oh, the wet shoes are high alert today. <laughs> that sound. <laughs> Welcome, Terrence, to the wonders of Xandar. I am World Mind. World Mind was just asking why we only eat the legs of turkey. Why don't we eat the whole turkey? You know what I mean? Like a turkey leg? I thought that was kind of funny. And also the lighting in here. 
making me feel very blue. Step forward into the welcome center, making room for everyone. Thank you. 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 Here comes our trusty mode of transportation for this flight. Got a buckle in the hat here. There we go. Well, that was awesome. I love that ride so much. I can't wait for my sister to ride it. I don't know if my mom's gonna ride it, but I know my sister definitely ride it. And uh, they're coming down very soon. Very, very soon, and I'm very excited. Now I think we're gonna make our way out to Spaceship Earth. Haven't done that in a while. And the park's uh, kind of closing now. It's getting to that time. It seems so quiet out right now. All you hear is that music in the background. Everyone's starting to leave. Time to make their way out. But I want to do Spaceship Earth. I haven't done it in a while. I love going up in that grand, miraculous Spaceship Earth. Trying to hold my umbrella right now is absolutely crazy! <laughs> We're flying all over the place. Oh no! Are those garbage bags? <laughs> I love that! <laughs> That's the best thing ever! Wow! I love that. They're actually just walking around with garbage bags with a little hole in them. That's kind of how I used to do it. So we went from Space 220 to Guardians of the Galaxy to Spaceship Earth. We're doing a fun space day. We should have rode Mission Space. Oh, actually, I don't know if I wanted to do that. <laughs> I can't select the language.
Spaceship Earth is always going to be one of my favorite rides. I'm very excited for them to update it though. It needs a little TLC. I don't want them to change it as much. I think they can add on to it, but it, it's definitely indeed of a refurb. You know what I mean? Sometimes I forget about the cool things you can do in Project Tomorrow. Like Power City over here. Press the screen to start. All right, take your sticks. Press here to start. I got my stick. Move to the central floor. All right, grab your sticks and come on out to the control floor. I'm here. All right, let's practice. Let's go grab this puck right here. Oh, that's not working. Maybe here. Oh, there we go. Oh, a little bit easier. <laughs> there we go, there we go, there we go. Got one. Now we gotta get this one. Eliminates all energy. Oh, now we're gonna push the green puck. Push the green puck to any pink top. A bonus one. Come. Oh, the clock is ticking now. There we go, get in there, get in there, get in there. Oh, we gotta use the green one. Done. Well, that was a fun little game. Now it's time to head back out. And it looks like it got very dark out. Oh, it's not too, uh, it's not too rainy though. Uh oh, something fun's probably happening on Spaceship Earth. I see everybody stopped here with their cameras out. I get excited too, oh yes. Like a grand, miraculous spaceship Earth. Hi, how are you? I guess it's time for us to actually start heading out. I gotta stop to Publix and uh, we gotta go see Gracie Girl. In fact, I probably gotta get her some dog food, see what they got at Publix there. I don't think Publix closed early. I don't know. Sometimes a lot of this stuff closes and sometimes like Disney is just like the only thing that closes in there. I don't think anything else really closed early. I'll have to look around, we'll see. But a little Publix trip, I think that sounds like a good idea. I feel like this is like my shield. Holy moly. <laughs> I can't lift it up because then whoop. <laughs> and here we are, good old Publix. I didn't think it was gonna close. Uh, and also I just found out that uh, Tropical Storm Nicole might be turning into Hurricane Nicole. It might be strengthening up a little bit. Looks like a lot of people are doing some shopping, so we're gonna have to wait for a shopping cart. No shopping carts in here. Oh, I think someone just dropped one off. They did. Look at that. We lucked out. <laughs> it is raining cats and dogs out there. Holy moly. Nobody knows how to drive in the rain. This weather makes me want to stay home curled up with a good book. I'm sure the plants are going to love this. I was thinking about making pasta this week, and I think it's funny how they organize the sauce on the shelves, kind of like we do with liquor, because like you got the ragu and the prego on the bottom shelf, and then the top shelf, we got the good stuff. I mean, <laughs> we got Sal's, and we've got Rayo's, and we got Michael's of Brooklyn, and then of course in the middle section, we've got mids. 
<laughs> so it's kind of funny and they keep the good stuff on the top shelf you know i don't know what's your favorite sauce i mean i like to get michael's of brooklyn or rayo's i think they're both good here at Publix, there used to be a couple of brands up north that were a little bit better but down in florida it's it's tough but i am kind of thinking about sal's look at this it's got a trusty looking like uh bottle here it's on clearance too for nine dollars nine dollar clearance bottle of tomato sauce well pasta sauce red gravy decided on sticking with the good old michaels of brooklyn home style gravy tomatoes onions carrots olive oil celery salt and pepper fresh basil fresh parsley bay leaf and nothing else just the way mama like it we definitely don't want to forget the coffee meat some good old French vanilla, two times more. Need the big bottle. Now it's time to check out. Not even that busy in the checkout area. Where's my little princess? There she is. What? What are you doing? You want a cookie? You want a treat? <gasps> what? Who's a good girl? Huh? Here we go. Zoop. And she's gone. And with that, we are done here today. Kind of a nice little excursion today. Went out to the parks, got to go to space, then went to Publix. I like it. And like I said before, I'm going to be doing uh, Mickey's Very Merry uh, Christmas Party very soon. So that's going to be great. The family is going to be coming into town for uh, the holiday season. I'm so happy for that. And a lot of great things to come. It's going to be actually a really nice... Uh, nice holiday season so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, the storm should be over soon I think they did announce that it is a hurricane I don't know how big of an impact it's gonna hit Central Florida but we'll see and you know we'll bunker down here me and Gracie if we have to I mean I ended up getting some pasta <laughs> I got water so we're good to go and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye